Hi Capricorn, this is Just with your July 22nd, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Capricorn, I think you guys are one of the signs that should be so happy that cancer season is over. Because it looks like to me, you guys have been going through it. Now, I have to say, when cancer season was going on, you guys were doing pretty well for yourself financially. Things were looking pretty good for you financially, actually. Um, but you're coming into this week possibly delaying a decision because you're confused. Uh, some of you, your money may be a little funny at this time. And you don't know when it's going to improve or if it's going to improve, but you're not asking for help. Or you're stubborn and not doing anything about it. And I feel like some of you just feel completely stuck, but you're moving forward anyway. You're mourning a loss, so you've taken a loss. And I see that you, like you're taking a loss, you're mourning a loss, but you're trying to pretend like everything is okay. But at the same time, you don't want any help. You don't want any help. You don't want what's being offered to you. And you're pretending like everything is okay. I guess it's kind of like this fake it till you make it. Some of you guys are moving forward. And you're hopeful that things are going to work out. But you're not too sure. This could be a physical move. This could be moving on from one job to the next. This could be moving on from a situation. But you're still in your feelings about it. So you, you have this bipolar emotional energy where one minute you're in a bad place then you're hopeful you're like yeah it's all gonna work out i'm gonna be for i'm gonna be fine because i'm gonna do a b and c and then you're like no i'm not gonna ask them for anything i don't even know how if this is gonna work so you're all over the place emotionally this week in the first few days and it's gonna be hard for you to not be stressed out or not to have anxiety because things aren't happening as fast as you would like them to be. And it is making you very unstable emotionally. But that's for the first few days. You get a handle on the situation. If you're looking for work. And you didn't hear back from them. It will be very favorable this week. The end of this week going into next week. That yeah you will get some favorable news. You get the job. You get some favorable news. That you feel like okay. Now I'm back on top. Or now I now I can. I'm, I'm confident that things are going to be okay. Hopefully you guys didn't hurt anybody in the process of, of going through this emotional upset because with Saturn in your chart and all those other malefic planets, you could be you could be quick, pretty dangerous psychologically to other people. Very damaging. So hopefully you didn't do anything like that to others or no one did that to you. Um, but again, what a difference a few days make because by the end of the week, you are working quite diligently and working well with others you will be getting attention and praise once again and i do feel like you'll feel like you've gotten your footing once again and you feel confident again and that's good it almost is like night and day when you let your guards down and you use your energy for good right and sometimes it's difficult when you have sound in your chart it's difficult to be positive and to see things see the forest from the trees see the light at the end of the tunnel that's very difficult uh, but you, you're letting your guard down. You're seeing things in a more positive way and kind of bam, you start to make a move. Now, if you did something, if, you, if there's been a challenging relationship between you and another person, I see you moving away from that person independently or someone doing that to you. Someone getting away from the other person is what I see. Someone may feel like they're being left behind, like they just see this person moving on. Like somebody may see you moving on, doing well day by day, month by month, while they're still trying to figure their situation out. You're doing okay. This could be you or another person. Now, when it comes to areas of love, there's stress. Yeah. You're moving on, even though you're stressed out and you're still trying to process this heal, this hurt, this pain, uh, this breakup. You don't want to fight. You feel like you're happy that you that you made this decision or the decision that was made. You feel like you're happy and you're not going to necessarily take this person back. You're not so eager or someone's not so eager to take you back or to open up to new love. There's not this rush to do that. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to tackle everyday life and get a handle on what's going on in your life because you have new hopes, dreams, and aspirations now that you only have yourself to focus on. But you're not sure if these things are going to work out for you. 
And although no one, someone's hold on the other person has diminished, I feel that there's either now plans to move forward in a new sort of way. Like, what is my next stage in my life is going to be now that I'm single? You know, should I take this person back? Because someone could be definitely trying to come back into your life. Just when you feel like, wow, I have so much time on my hands to do A, B, and C. It's like now here they come tiptoeing back. And you're trying to rush back into your damn life. You know, just when everything is working out fine. They may have thought that you guys breaking up. Oh, you were going to be the one distraught. No, it's like, no, I'm. You're, you're moving forward. And now that they see that you're like, oh, so everything is okay with you. Now they want to get back in your good graces. Now they want to try to work things out with you. Somebody is definitely coming back. They've been thinking long and hard. And before you get away completely, they're coming back. They want to communicate. It's been hard for them to get over the situation. I feel like they've tried to reach out before. If not them, you tried to, you know, smooth the situation out. Someone did. And the other person was like, oh, no. Like, they were, they, they didn't want it. Well, quickly has times change. And now, all of a sudden, somebody wants you. And they're coming back. And it's like, literally, out of the blue. Here they come. They want you back. They want to work on things. They need your help. Something like that. They need you. They want you. Something like that. So it's not completely over with you and this person. Absolutely. But I feel like Capricorn, and I said this to you guys last week. I, I believe it was you. I said to you guys last week. It's like, you know how you are now that you're not with this person versus how you was when you were with them. And I don't even feel like it's them. I don't feel like it's them that's the problem. It's like for some of you, you realize who you are you're becoming your own person which capitals are always their own person but i feel for some of you you're realizing um how freeing it is or how liberating it is to be on your own in your own space right where you don't have to necessarily always consider somebody else that's that's for some of you you know you may have been in a relationship for a very long time and now that you're not in it it just feels it feels weird yeah you're still processing it um, but it also feels a bit liberating. And as we go into Leo season, that is really going to show how liberating it is for you to be on your own and for you to move forward. And, and even though someone wants you to recommit to them, like in a big way, someone wants you to recommit to them. So in the extent that we're going to look at that, that love and see if the, you guys will recommit, will things work out for you guys, not just this week, but down the line long term will this be something that works out for the two of you among other things we'll also take a, a look into august so if you're interested in the extended click that link below and we'll get started otherwise i would love to hear from you capricorns this is not a doom and gloom reading you will see if my readings happen to resonate with you guys it starts off this week definitely starts off a little funky a little funky but again thursday friday going into the weekend and we and the week after that looks amazing for you guys uh so definitely enjoy these waves you're on a bumpy ride but enjoy it because it looks like you're on your way back up again by week's end so if you would like something personal with me in the description box is where you can find me and if you are new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care capricorn